is in charge of all the command module software. My team and I designed and developed system software to recognize error detection and recovery software. This links to our understanding by allowing the collection of 400 kilos of lunar samples to study. The experiments are on soil, meteoroids, magnetic fields and solar wind. She contributed knowledge to stellar classification and motions and had a role in planning the Hubble Space Telescope, which is used to observe the most distant stars, galaxies and planets. This led to knowledge on galaxies and how they are moving away from each other, the possibilities of how the universe began and how it might end. Okay, bye. I was an engineer, physician and NASA astronaut and was a mission specialist on the Space Shuttle Endeavour. On my eight-day mission, I contributed to science using biofeedback to help people monitor and control their physiology as a possible treatment for motion sickness, anxiety and stress-related disorders. I flew twice on the Orbiter Challenger and investigated the Challenger and Columbia Space Shuttle disasters. I'm taking photographs of specimens from space. Oh, okay. Well, have fun with that. Excuse me, you two. You need to leave, please. Well, that was a bit rude. Guess it's top secret work. I'm towing the shuttle to the nearby vehicle assembly building to join it to its tank and boosters, then using the slow moving crawler transporter. I'm getting the launch vehicle and its mobile launcher platform rolled out to the launch pad ready for liftoff. We are about to launch off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We are just preparing for takeoff. Re-entry takes about an hour to descend through Earth's atmosphere. The orbit orbiter is essentially an unpowered glider on its return. And that's getting a bit ahead of ourselves. So let's go back to liftoff. The mission will begin with a thundering liftoff. The shuttle's twin solid boosters ignite and then push the crew and cargo beyond the bounds of gravity for approximately two weeks. This is a partially reusable low earth orbital spacecraft. Operational missions link together many scientific discoveries from launching satellites, interplanetary probes and servicing the International Space Station. The rover climbs Mount Sharp, an 8 km high mountain and a 145 km wide basin of Mars, Gale Crater. This mountain shows clay minerals and salty minerals called sulfates. Mountain layers show how the environment inside the crater dried up over time. The rocks help show scientists how Mars was once a wet planet that dried out and that habitable environments persisted long after that happened. An outpost orbiting the moon providing vital support for long-term human return to the lunar surface. It's a human landing system to send astronauts to the moon. This links to our knowledge about space by gaining new experiences around the moon to send humans to Mars over the coming years.